What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I'm working on some dialogue and stuff. You can see that uh, all the, the dialogue now responds to periods, question marks, spaces, things like that. It adds inflection to the timing of the letters. And each character has their own sound effects that go with their dialogue. So, yeah, man, I, I worked all day yesterday on this, and it's, I didn't think it would take this long. And I'm still working on this. This is like a day and a half of just working on dialogue to make it awesome. Another thing that's, uh, that it does is, um, let me start over here. Um, if, uh, if, you're, if you press a button, right, if you press the A button or whatever before the dialogue is finished, it will, it will complete it. So there, I pressed the A button and it completed the dialogue. Same thing here for any character. It will just cancel, immediately show. So you can never accidentally skip through dialogue. You, but if you just press the buttons, you're going to see them all. You're going to see all the dialogue. So lots of little refinements like that to dialogue. So um, I've come up with something. Each character has their own massive instrument. I'm using massive synthesizer for each character to generate something that kind of is supposed to feel exactly like that character. Here's Jib's little noises. Um, Rock's got some noises. This is these are really hard to get the to get Rock just right because Rock is so he's a human, but these sounds are very like you know robotic almost. Hello, Marcius. What's up, man? Welcome. Uh, yeah, so so now I'm gonna start off. Um, I, I think I, I think I'm happy with this for with for rock sounds. This was I'm using um, a square sine wave and a speech instrument. It's the most human sounding thing I could get. And to make it more human, I took off some of these insert effects and added on some also some reverb, which kind of made it more human feeling. So. I'm going to start with this and move on to doing some dialogue sounds for Vel. So each character will have their own individual dialogue sounds. <clears throat> so let me get Vel in the game. And I'm going to change this little test dialogue thing I have. So it plays, let's see what dialogue, what, yeah, okay. Uh, all we gotta do is change this to Vel here. And I think, what is Vel gonna even do for her sound effects? I don't know, let's find out what her, I'm not sure if she, yeah, her dialogue doesn't have any sounds, so that means she'll use the default sounds, I think. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so she's using default sounds. Okay, so she needs um, her own custom sounds. Let's copy this data. So she got those. We'll call this dialogue bell. And Ableton, we already got a dialogue bell. We got a massive instrument. This should be similar to rock, right? Yeah, okay, now let's start with changing the pitch. Ooh. That makes a difference. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's play with the pitch first. Simple way to make her sound higher pitch, you know. <laughs> higher pitched. Move her pitch up, of course. Of course. So I went from an A sharp to an F. Let's make her last note. 
an F sh uh, a G. Yeah. What's up? Welcome, Van Zan and Shrimpy. Okay, I haven't changed any of the character of this sound. I've simply just changed the pitch. But let's see if that sounds any better. <laughs> nice. That really worked. Okay, I don't think I need to complicate it any more than that. I mean, I already worked pretty hard on rock sounds to, to work on the uh, using a nice sine square wave. Right, it, this is all, gosh, playing with all these settings took half the morning. So this sounded all right. I just moved up her pitch by a fifth. And I think I'm gonna stay with these exact sounds just the way they are. Yeah, screw it. Just keep it like that. <laughs> Done. All right. Good enough. If anybody thinks, if anybody has any thoughts on these sounds, please share your thoughts. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so let's add these. And I can add, uh... ah, I was going to change this so that this story element could run for either jib or vel. Yeah, that's kind of smart. I should just do that. We have what one and what one B, or maybe one A and one B. So one A will be jib, one B will be bell. Both of these. And both of them will have the same key, so that if one runs, it's not going to run it again. All right, that should be that should work. Let's see. Okay, let's see if that worked for Jib. Yeah, cool. Works for Jib too. All right, and let's see if I run it, get that dialogue. It should save to my story so that it doesn't run it again. All right. Let's confirm this. Yeah, okay, so it's save what one, and that means that now that I run it again, it shouldn't run that dialogue again. It's kind of overly pedantic to check this like a bajillion times, but I guess that's 
engineering for you. All right, great. And same thing for Vel. If I switch to Vel, we switch back to Vel. Still shouldn't run. And then if I take away the what, it should run. <laughs> Pragmatic, man. Super. Good. Now, once again, last check. Take away the what one. No more what. We still got the where, though. Great, now we can check this in and it's like a nice little package. Bye, Bye baby. So Vel's got her own dialogue sounds, the this little story element, which is kind of funny to keep in the game. Um, it's still, where it works for either character you have as player two. Dialogue. Dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next character is going to be Rockface. Or should I do? Oh no, yeah. Let's do. Let's do. Um. Let's do zero. Zero, where should we encounter zero? Probably, we'll take away zero, two. Um, we'll keep this world position, go here. I think this will give us the the encounter with, with zero. Oh, I already have meditate. So we gotta take off the meditate skill. Save that. Save anyway. Wait, no. Revert. Hope that saved my. Yeah, save the position. Yay. Meditate. Kind of an interesting sound for him. I think I want something deeper though, and more human. Yeah, more human. Okay, so let's go with dialogue rock. And we'll save this as dialogue zero. <clears throat> and I've got some sounds which are gonna be pretty a lot a lot deeper, I know. I think I might stay with that note, but play with the sound. So I use a square saw wave, but I know that strontium is a really strong, deep sounding sound. Or there it is, strontium. Yeah. Well, let's go back to square saw and check out how. 26, 27, 23, okay, so it gets to maybe 22 decibels max, more like 26 to 22 decibels.
Let's go back to Strontium. This is such a powerful sound. And how many decibels we got? 29, 25. Okay, so we need to increase this by maybe three. Let's go up to nine, negative nine. Yeah, it's just the same sound. All right, cool. And what if uh, what if it was a little deeper of a note, actually? A sharp is what it was. Go with G sharps. And this last one, we'll make an F sharp. This last note could be a little longer, actually. Let's play around with that. See how, see how that uh, is sounding. Dialog zero A, zero B, zero C. Are these all the same? Oh, the last one's really loud compared to the others. Oh yeah, wow, it's a whole three decibels. What's good? What's up, professional novice? How you doing, man? I'm good. Everything's good. Very, very good. So we'll hook up these sounds for zero. Dialog zero. Okay, so let's see how that's sounding in the game. He's got his own dialogue sounds now. Zero, custom. Sort of a deeper, stronger sound. <laughs> cool. It's a little quiet though. It's quiet, really? The last note is supposed to be loud, but the rest of them sound quiet. Oh, oh, I could play around with the uh, velocity. What are these velocities here? This is a velocity of 100. Since this is a longer note, it has a chance to get to a higher volume. So I'm gonna take it all the way down to like 85. And then the overall sound, I'm thinking can go up maybe two decibels. Let's try that. You're doing well? That's good. How's Songbringer? Songbringer is going better than I ever imagined. Every day. It's so fulfilling to work on your own project and to see it just blooming, blossoming, thriving, doing so well. People are excited for it. People are a little too excited for it. <laughs> People are getting really impatient with me now. It's like every day I hear, when's the release date? When's the release date? Hey, when aren't you going to release soon? Come on, man. Why haven't you released yet? It's like, do you want to do you want a half finished game? I don't think so. <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, everything's great. It's not a big issue really.
I love this. This is so cool. Having every character have their own dialogue sounds really adds a lot of personality to this dialogue, which used to just be kind of uh, robotic a little bit. Space my name. I know I'm hyped, right? <laughs> yes, there's too much hype. Uh, no, that, that, hype's a good thing. Hype's a good thing. I'm just complaining. How's it going? It's going really good. How you doing, Space My Name? Yeah, true. It's true, right? Non-developers just don't understand. They don't. They don't understand. They don't understand the games take like freaking years to make, and that, and that like even though a game looks like it's almost finished, like Songbringer looks like it's finished, right? I just worked on the final boss like a couple of weeks ago. But that's only the rough sketch of the final boss. There's still so much work left to do with that boss. There's a lot of work left to do with every single dungeon. There's a lot of work left to do with the story. So there's there's a lot uh, there's a lot left to do. And it's the game is getting relatively close to being finished, but like relatively in the space of years, right? So you're doing fantastic. Someone made a video and your game was included. What? That's sweet, dude. Yes. That's so great. What's the video? Yeah, building software is like building a building. It takes time and precision. Totally. This is engineering. Making video games is engineering and it's art. It's like you have to engineer the entire building and then you have to go throughout the entire building and build out the interior and use all your artisticness to like make the art, the interior look cool and feel great. Yeah, it's exact. Yeah, making a video game is a lot like making a, a, an entire building. Okay, man, I'm getting really lucky today on today's stream so far because these sounds are sounding really good. I think it was all the work I put in this morning to making Rock's dialogue sound. It took, it took me a few hours to get his dialogue sound right, but once I got one of them right, then the rest of them are becoming easy. So this one's done. Oh, we can check in. Zero's dialogue. Get at all. Oh, it's about No Man's Sky parody games? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, somebody playing it. Right on. Space my name. Oh, right. Yeah. The, the, it's right. The thought process of it all, too. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Zero's got dialogue. Um, let's make sure Brutus has his own custom sounds. Brutus is kind of a key character there, and I got a good idea for how to make him sound cool. So we'll go to yeah, pretty much anywhere in the overworld. Actually, we can go right here. And we need to make it situation so that Brutus can appear. Where, where does he appear at? He appears if you if you have not beat the first dungeon. Um, oh, let's go look at his story entity, story node, story for Brutus. Here we go, Brutus one. I want Brutus one. Okay, you have to have the sword, but not item one. That's it, item one. Okay, so we take away the compass. The compass, zero. Compass number zero, take away. Do not have, do not have compass zero, no more. That should make Brutus appear. Oh. Oh yeah, you got him. What did I? What did I 
I do wrong? It's not compass one. I have plenty of map positions. I haven't fought any bosses. So maybe let's turn off boss number two. Brutus, where are you? Oh, I already have Brutus' story node. Duh. Okay, so Brutus, turn off Brutus 1. Yeah, there's just one sound effect that'll work like perfect for this guy. There he is. Cool. Okay, we've got a situation where we can test this out. Um, and, uh, dialogues zero. Yeah, yeah, this is down a note. This is actually a pretty good starting point, dialogue zero. So we'll save this as dialogue Brutus. Oh, Brutus. This I want this to sound more like a pig because that's what Brutus is. And there's this perfect sound effect in here for it. That's strontium. But all of these uh, gentle speech ones kind of sound piggy to me. Oh, there we go. That one totally modern talking. Oh, that one's even better. D throat. Ah, that sounds just like a pig. Nice. But I want this last note to be same. Maybe, can we bend this slightly? I want this one to be like slightly off. Nah, doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay, but it's got a higher, it's got a higher harmonic in here. This is not cool. What's this one? Yeah, that's too, just too, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Maybe even lower. No, oh, no, no. This is pretty good right here. Maybe like that. Yeah. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Let's go. Wait, oh, do we have this verb on? Yeah, cool. This verb is a pretty good way to do it. All right, so we're exporting Jonah. What's up, Jonah? Dialogue Brutus A. Dialogue Brutus B. Dialogue Brutus C. Uh -oh. I'm talking about the game's release? No, no, I'm not. What do you mean? Wait, this is a capo. Wow, your game is awesome so far. Thanks, ask me anything about it. I could talk for hours in every detail. When will it be finished? <laughs> right. I, I don't want to talk about the game's release and... Everybody asks me every day. When's the game gonna be released? Hey Nat, when's the game gonna be released? Hey, did you hey Nat, uh you you just made the final boss. The game's gotta be done soon, right? Is that the Xanos okay cool. Did it sound right? I don't remember. Uh, it sounds a little too. It's not getting enough of its bass through. It's. I want this to sound really bassy, like a bassy pig. Burp, burp, burp. So the game's done, right? It's pretty much done. 
It's, it's totally, it's, it's, it's ready to go, right? What is, you're gonna announce the release date tonight, right? Where did its base go? Why did the base just really like drop out of this one? Maybe it never had any base. Yeah, it's still this this higher pitched one here. It's gonna be on Steam by nine PM. Uh Maybe if I actually make this one a sine wave. Yeah, now it's getting more of its woo woo. Sounds a little bassier now. And I also should check the decibels, 25, 22, 21. That's pretty good. Right about there, okay. Thank you, professional novice. Thanks for, thanks for saying that. I really appreciate that. It's nice to be um, recognized for one's determination. I see that a lot. I've seen it in many friends, many other game developers. Many people never really finish things. They never stick through and, and go all the way and follow through. Because it takes a hell of a lot of effort to follow through on a project. Especially when you say, ah, oh, I'm going to make this game. And then you, you, maybe you don't realize that the game's going to take three years. You never do. <laughs> I, I never realized my game's going to take so long. I thought this game would take six months. I originally started this game thinking it's going to be just like Zelda 1. And so, you know, Zelda 1 is an 8-bit game. I was going to make it all 8-bit style. And it would only take like six months. And then it turned into a 16-bit game, you know. And then, it, and then it turned into more, you know, the scope just kept growing and growing and growing. That's what always happens. It's like the scope grows. It took you nine months to put it out your game? It's not done? Yeah, right. I know. Yeah, nine months. And gosh, right? Nine months is a uh, is a good it's a good amount of time to put in a game too. You know, it doesn't really matter how much. I mean, it, it all depends on the scope of your game, how long it really takes. Yeah, thank you, man. I really hope they do. I hope the efforts pay off. I mean, I've worked this long on a game before and had it completely flop, so. You know, I'm I'm never I I've never wanted to create the expectation in my own uh my own brain, my own expectations that Songbringer will be a success, because there's nothing guaranteed. Nothing guaranteed at all. It could be a complete failure, you know, you never know. It could be the best success of my life. I'll never oh I will only know once it's released. So until then, I'm still gonna stick to the to the concept of not having any expectations because then I don't I'm not going to be I'm not going to be disappointed if I don't have any expectations at all I'm trying to be like the Buddha about this or something it should have only taken a month yeah it is it's hard it's hard to do something you love and treat it like a job right yeah it's hard to treat it like oh I've got to get this done by a certain time or a certain deadline or whatever I don't remember if I exported these or not, so I'm just going to do it again. That's what smoking too much weed will do to you, kids. Short-term memory. Not so good. I'm taking a break now, though. I'm taking a little break. So that should really help. The old memory banks. Zero, Brutus. All right, so Brutus is gonna have his own dialogue. Sounds.
Yeah, right. The knowledge you gain is a minimum reward. True, right? Yeah, you got. I gotta look at it that way, right? Even if, even if Songbringer did fail, in the end, it would still be a success because it it, it got me this far, right? I haven't I haven't put any of my own dollars into making Songbringer. It's all been funded by fans, and and, th and that is great. It's so great. Thank you, Space by Name. Most successful. Th I hope it is too. <laughs> I, I really doubt it'll make five billion dollars, like like Notch's game did. But, uh, but if it did, hell yeah, I could do a lot of good for the world. I'll tell you that. I definitely would start a game studio. I would. I would like to invest in like green energy and sustainability, you know, I don't know. These are, these are wild dreams, wild, wild dreams. First of all, I kind of like to establish my family as having like a, you know, not a, I don't want to have a big home or anything. I just want to have a home. I want to have a home that's paid for that has like, no, I don't have to pay rent. I don't have to worry about, um, you know, a mortgage, that would be such a great dream. Hire everyone in the chat. Yes, you guys would be the first. Be like, well, I know some good programmers. I know some good artists, some good musicians. I know some people. Oh, no way. Before, I wasn't even playing the right sounds for him. Ah, no wonder you didn't sound right. How's the baby doing? We're working on the baby. Is that, is that what you're asking about? I know, wouldn't it be so great to have a paid off home? I mean, right now we rent our house. We rent our, it's not a house, it's a, a little apartment. We rent our apartment. And it would just be so cool to have a paid for home that I would never have to worry about that. My family would be all set. Yes, he sounds like a pig now. This is great. It's still too quiet though. Okay, so his decibels, even though his decibels are a little higher, he, he, he still needs more. Some sounds are just like that. They're deeper or something, so they're rel they're like, Relative volume? What's it called? The perceived volume? The perceived volume here is like kind of low. If you can dream it, you can have it. True. Yes. I believe that. I certainly believe that. I believe if you're if you're given the ability to dream something, you also somewhere in you you have the ability to get that dream, to earn that dream, to make that dream a reality somehow. I firmly believe that because otherwise it would be a pretty brutal world, you know? I don't choose to believe in a, 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 a world that's that brutal. <laughs> I love his dialogue sounds. These are great. Wait, what happened? That was weird. I think I pressed the button like right at the wrong time, so it like... I don't know what happened there. But I love this guy's sounds. These sounds work really well. Let's see it one more time. <laughs> yeah, no one said anything about it being easy. That's for sure. Making your dreams come true, in my experience, has never been easy, ever. Even the littlest dreams. But I do believe they're possible. Oh, there you go. There! Okay, if I press the button, right after all the dialogue has appeared... Oh. Okay, I think I I think I'm on the track here. So there's a function called stop dialogue. Stop. 
No, that's not it. Yeah, it is. Is it? Oh, here. It's finished dialog. Yeah, you'd rather struggle every day chasing what you enjoy. Yeah. To be successful in something you hate. <laughs> Agreed. Totally. Me too. Oh, 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 oh. I think I found the bug. So if stop dialogue actions here, we also need ret to be true. This is where it's completing the dialogue before you're, it finishes. You like finish it, you like you press the A button a couple times and it just finishes the dialogue. I think that was a that was a bug right there. So I'm gonna let one of his dialogue things come all the way to completion, but not quite to where the button is complete. And then press the button. And this time it should be okay. Yeah, I think it worked. No, wait. I press it. What's going on? Now it doesn't even work. Oh, okay. That sucks. There's definitely a little bug here. Huh. That's pretty bad. This is a bad bug. This would just, this would basically crash the person's game. Or it wouldn't crash it. It would just basically hang. You'd be hung there. So it's better It's better to have it the way it was than like this, but I definitely need to keep this. I definitely need to do something about this, if not now. Like, yeah, I should do something now. That's why you quit your last job? Yeah. I hear ya. because the dialog button gets some more actions. Uh, I figured it out. Nice. I was a network engineer at company. <laughs> hey, Sean is crazy. What's up, man? How's it going, Sean is crazy? What you doing? What you doing? I think uh, I need to I need to do it like this. If it was visible, that's what we're gonna return. How about this? It did. Nah, no, it was visible. High five, man! So let's try that now. Um, basically, what we're doing here is it needs to stop the dialogue actions for this button and return true if it was actually. Oh, wait, no, that's not going to work either because the fade to. 
I guess the opacity is going to have to be greater than 128. Or just visible. So if it was visible, then we're going to return false. If it was invisible, we're returning true. Yeah, this should work now. All right, let's hope it does. Hope it does. So I'm fixing a little bug here with the dialogue. This is a new little feature where if you just press the button before the dialogue is finished coming on the screen, it will complete the dialogue for you. Just like any any RPG game where you press the button twice and it just fills in the dialogue, you know? It's a nice little feature to have. Damn it, didn't work that time. Or did it? Oh gosh, man, this is hard to tell. So I think the dialogue, I think the dialogue, f uh, what does it do with the button? If do button, it creates the sprite, sets visible to false. Okay. And then it delays a bit, fades, fades to zero. That's kind of unnecessary if we just set the dialog to be zero. And then we show it faded into 255, but then we run this action which goes back and forth between 162 and 255. And when it comes to the letters, they start at zero and Some of them start not visible though. Yeah, I guess so it was visible. This is kind of better to do um, if n get opacity is greater than 128. So basis on opacity instead. So I'm trying to flesh out a little bug with the timing of um, completing the dialogue, finishing the dialogue soon, truncating it, if you will. Oh no! Uh, I'm gonna check in. Brutus has some really great dialogue sounds. That's that should be checked in. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. I'm working as hard as I can to get the game all finished so you can play it. Brutus. Okay, we want to check in Brutus, but not a Nims. This little bug is 
not quite, not quite ready. So I'm committing raw, all Bruce's sounds and data, but not source. Uh, add input type label. You get excited? Nice, man. Thank you. Thank you for your excitement. Thank you for your support on the game too. I appreciate it. I know it's, that that statement is more true than I would want it to be. It's so true. It's happened with every video game I've ever made. It's always been this way. Oh. It's like this one little... There's just one little tiny moment where if I press the button... It doesn't work. Why is that? Why is that? Right? The last 30% of your time just working on the little details. That's what this is. This is kind of little details here. This bug, for example. This tiny little bug. It's a tricky one to, to, get, to get right. It's tricky because I don't know exactly when to press the button to make it do this error. Let me see if I can kind of figure it out this time. Maybe I should slow down time. Oh, there we go. Yes, slow down time. No, not speed up. Slow down. Press the button. Oh, it worked that time. Press the button. There. I completed the dialogue. I press the button pretty quickly. And now we're sitting in this little state here where it looks like there's no dialogue on the screen, but there is. There's like a dialogue item waiting. And if I press the button again right now, it's gonna bring up his next line of dialogue. So what happened there? Zanger! What's up, Zanger? 
Adam in. What's going on is it's like, I think it might be real. I don't think it might be. I press the button to complete. It must have hidden the layer, but why wouldn't it have gone and hidden the layer and then had more dialogue? Maybe I maybe if I turn on story verbosity, this will help a little this time. So let's try that. You're trying to study, but all you want to do is work on Game Boy Jam. That's cool, man. Game Boy Jam is study. There, what happened? What happened? Eight dialogues, seven. Let me try that again. I didn't quite notice. Okay, we got uh, 10 dialogue lines. Nine dialogue lines. Eight dialogue lines. Oh, is there's a there's just a blank line in there? Really? Is that all it is? Dialogue Brutus. Oh, because Jib's not here. There's this empty line of dialogue because Jib's not there. Oh, this whole time there was no bug. But we need to work. We, I need to make this so that it doesn't do this again. So if there's a missing character for some reason. Thanks, Space My Name. Good point. I'll do that instead of homework. It is. Game Boy Jam is homework. It is just, you can, you're gonna learn so much from Game Boy Jam. So that is uh, next dialogue line. <laughs> yeah, that line exactly. J that lines of Jib's dialogue is not working because Jib is not there. Uh, a Nim's dialogue does fail. It returns a zero, basically, if the character is not found. Okay, well, I don't really like using while loops. So I won't. Um, let's go int i equals zero. i is less than 10. Let's make a const int max tries. All right, so. Uh, 
Oh, and also for eyes less than max tries and dialog lines that size is greater than zero. We're getting a duration. We're erasing the current line. We're adding to the timer. And if duration is greater duration, come on, duration. It's greater than zero, then we break. Keep trying for more dialog lines if this one failed. All right, so I'm going to review that now. So I'm trying up to 10 times, making sure we have dialog lines. It grabs the, it tries to run the dialog. It's going to return zero if it couldn't. Let's make sure that there's no other situations that we could return zero. Well, of course, if there's no text or if the character's not there, it's returning zero. But otherwise, is it could it possibly return zero with good dialogue? I don't think so. Because the label animation. I guess it could if it were all spaces. If a character just said space, 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 space. But even that would have a pre-delay. Okay, so it wouldn't matter. It, they're guaranteed you would have a duration. All right. So we get the duration, we erase that line of dialogue. If, if necessary, we add to the timer. I think this will work. Oh yeah, pro tip, nice. Yeah, more conditions to your for loops. This is a cool tip, yeah, that's a cool tip. What Jonah's saying right here is that you can always add more conditions to your for loops. And this is a beautiful way to do things, yeah. This is actually a pretty cool thing to do, to add things to your for loops. There's there's a couple situations where this really saved a piece of code for me. I'm like, like a piece of code didn't work well without that. And then when I added it that way, it like just magically everything worked way better. It's This is cool. Re remember this, programmers. And if anybody's kind of like, you know, you're learning programming, you're wondering why I did not use a while loop, while loops are infinite. You could potentially have a complete game hang at that point. I did a simple for loop and added a max tries just in the, I don't think that would ever fail there. Like it would just keep on looping forever. But in the case that it did, what, you know, at least I had written the code a little bit better so that it wouldn't, it wouldn't ever get into an infinite loop there. That's why I did that without a while loop. There we go. Now it's working. Cool. That worked very nicely that time. And uh, and his Brutus's dialogue sounds are awesome. So great. We fixed two minor bugs there, which actually were more than minor, because it could have hung the player's game basically. Where's Jib? I was playing around with Jib and Vel there. I'll, I'll put him back on here. Actually, yeah, let's put him on right now. I miss Jib too. Where are you, Jib? I miss you, Jib. It's because Vel somehow became, I was using, I don't know how Vel got that way. Okay, cool, this is a great bug fix. Very good bug fix here. Um, fix for, fix for dialogue finish if pressed. Right before button appears and fix for dialogue, fix for empty dialogue due to missing character. Etc. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So there's one more. What's up, Iragan? Hello. How you doing, Iragan? There's one more character I want to work on dialogue sounds for, and and uh, after that, it'll be I'll be finished with today's stream. Got to get some lunch. Already feeling the hunger. 
So this character I'm doing sound effects for now is Rockface right here. So what we do is uh, go into meditation and you know we do this whole meditation thing and then Rockface will do his dialogue and I need to make some sounds for that. So I got some inspiration already from some monks chanting. I'm very good. And Brutus has a pretty deep sound, but I think zero is probably closer to the sound that I want to emulate here. So we're going to go dialogue, save this one as dialogue. Rockface! So cool to have an NPC named Rockface. Yes, yeah, he moves now while he's meditating. There's a, I did a whole, a whole animation for that. Yeah, he's levitating a little bit. So yeah, I worked on it. That was like a too good, like three hour session just making the meditate animation better. But I, I had always wanted to do that, and I'm so good to have these little things done. It's nice to be doing all these little things and making, taking rough drafts, turning them into final drafts. That's really the name of the game right now. Yeah, yeah, no, you saw right. That's what was happening. So I've got this sound effect. I kind of wanted to sound like this. So I'm gonna copy this into my project, and I'm gonna emu I'm kind of I'm gonna throw this in, but I'm gonna mostly try and generate a sound that kind of is reminiscent of that. Polish. Yep, it's polish. Taking that rough draft, making it the final draft. So let's move, um, this is a good enough name, O-F-H, it's a perfect name, perfect name. Let's move it from the desktop into my um, folder of samples for Ableton, whoops, oh, don't move the desktop into the samples folder, move just the O-O-Wave. Uh, Kappa, Kappa. No, but in in actual real in in all seriousness, there yes, there will be a Polish translation. All right, good. We got that, and these are gonna be a lot longer. Okay, I need a I need an audio track, and I need. A Take this sample in, O, F, H. So each one of these is this long. So I'm gonna move these out. I might not even need these two. Yeah, let's get rid of these. I don't need those. I need maybe about that much audio, and this needs to be a little longer. How did you learn to make music? Oh, that's a great question. Greek, t Greek too? I don't know if I can find a Greek translator. Sure. Yeah. Um, Aragon, how did you learn to make music? This is a great question, cause like, I yeah. I wish more game developers made their own music because it's so great to see a game developer making their own creation with their own art and their own programming and also their own music. I, I really want to see more of that. Um, I learned to make music by just, by just making music. I started with the guitar. I started by learning uh, guitar and that was like years and years ago. And then I started recording my own music and stuff in, in digital audio workstations and stuff. But what taught me the most about making music of all of all anything I ever did was playing the learning to play the drums and learning to sing. Those two things helped me more than anything else. And I guess I guess learning DAWs, like learning digital audio workstations like Ableton or um, what's the one on Windows? Pro Tools or um, Mac also has the Logic. Um, there's also GarageBand. It's actually a pretty decent 
audio workstation. You really should know you really should know how to your way around some audio workstation. There's a lot of great ones. There's one called Raptor, there's free ones. So I would learn one of those, learn, learn one of these, and learn to sing or learn to drum or learn some kind of instrument. Are you going to add VR support? <laughs> no. Blood, what's up, Blood? Oh, what's up, Blood? Yeah, Cubase is a good one. Yeah, man, totally. Yeah, if I were starting out in, in music again right now, if I wanted to learn how to make music, I would first start learning one of these electronic things, and then I would learn singing. Probably singing is one of the most important things you can do because you can teach yourself notes and pitch and stuff like that. And then I would learn also learn drums just a little bit. And it's very easy to learn the drums. All you got to do is just like stick with the like the simplest rhythm you could possibly get, right? This is such an easy little rhythm. And this, you stick with like one little rhythm for long enough, it becomes a part of your soul. You get, it becomes like mes muscle memory, and then you can't stop doing it. It's like you're like locked into the rhythm, you know? What's up, sound dogs? What's up? Yeah, learn audio stuff. Learn it, man. Start with something, some audio suite. Yeah, Jonah's done with Uni. Did you guys hear that? He did his dissertation. How did all that turn out, Jonah? Like, what happened? What, did, you, did you get a grade and all that? Okay, so here's my inspiration sound. I want it to sound something like this about... And now I want to create a, an electronic generated sound that sounds sort of either complimentary or kind of like that. So it needs a longer tail, first thing. Let's go to the voicing for envelope and shed its release. You're still waiting for your grade? Which you'll get in December. Ah, cool. Flood, you're working from home tomorrow? Yes, you got the you got the curfew tonight. Yeah. You gonna play some games or what? What are you gonna do tonight? What you gotta do, man? What you gotta do with your curfew freedom? This also needs some more, less attack. More release. Ooh, less release. Oh yeah, no, you're just gonna, all right, all right, all right. So how do wait? How late do you stay up when you when you have like a, a day off? What do you what do you what's your typical stay up late hour? Four a.m. All right, nice. It's already one a.m. There, huh? You ragging? Okay. I've got these two sounds about the right same uh, volume and about the right uh, attack release envelope. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the game, and then I'm gonna work on cu uh, customizing the sound so it sounds more like the audio sample. This one's dialogue rock face. We don't really need A, B, or C. We'll just call it dial dialogue rock face. That's fine. Whoa, dang, man. You can stay up till 2 to 2.30 and then still wake up at 8? That's amazing. 
What? One of your hard drives just, just failed just now? God dang. That happened to Boogie the other day. It was like, he's like, yep, my hard drive just failed just now. This one's Dialog Rock Face. And the other instances of Rockface are also going to have this for their dialog components. And we don't need dialog deep anymore. All right, so let's check this out. Oh no, it was your recording drive? Oh, you got two years? Two years of life out of that. Oh, oh, you took a nap? Oh, that's, that's your secret, huh? Secret nap, secret weapon. too slow okay a um, couple things I don't want to I don't want to run the what dialogue anymore so I'm gonna add that to my keys um, I want it to be a little easier to play this dialogue to over and over and over because we need to hear this a lot so I want to set um, the story entity for rock face You had one hard drive since 2008? That's amazing. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it right away without even meditating and no delay so that we can just quickly get into running his dialogue and debug whatever's going on. So this should, I'm just going to verify that it's qu it's quicker this time. Yes, I'm using behavior trees for AI. It is quite powerful. Yes, I agree. Check it out. Here's um, like all the AI in the whole game. Every, every enemy. What's an enemy? Like uh, the fear boss. This is kind of an interesting AI tree, I guess. Yeah, all my all my behavior trees look like this. This is the this is the behavior for the fear wall, the wall that just comes at you in this game. Like it start this is its initial sequence. If you understand behavior trees, this should kind of kind of make sense. It's just using selects and sequences and then each one of these has its own little things and stuff. Its own little behavior tree nodes. Yeah, you got eight you got what, 8 years out of it. That's amazing. Okay, why is this guy, his um, dialogue going so slow? It's probably the letter delay and then the word, oh, the words. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if dialogue type is words or dialogue, type is K, dialog full either one of those it's going to base its timing on the words not the uh, not the individual letters so that should really help the fear wall was super easy really no way that's like one of the hardest bosses 
Did you, okay, did you already have the Vibra chip? Yeah, Ragan. Totally, man. I, I highly encourage you to, to create some behavior trees and all that. Ay, ay, ay. We need this. We need uh, is not fluxing. Wanted to do that. These sounds are quite, kind of conflicting with each other. They're not very complimentary. Still going too slow, way too slow. So the timing of the full dialogue needs to be like, let's say this was times two before. So this should be like maybe 36 there. Oh. Oh, so the Viber chips didn't exist? Yeah, they did, they did. Well, I, I don't know how to make that guy any, well, I can, I'll take a look. I'll take a look at him, see what I can do to make him maybe a little harder. There's going to be a lot more work put into each boss. Uh, Saladong's, yes, I did the behavior tree parsing myself. Um, I, I wrote the behavior tree parsing um, using Valtry. So you've probably seen Valtry. It's on GitHub. It's my little project for reading in data. So yeah, I use Valtry to parse all the uh, all the behavior trees, and then the and then each one of the words gets parsed into certain behavior like uh, you know each each basically one of, each one of these words here gets parsed into an integer. So every behavior word it has like a certain integer value associated with it. So that's how the parsing works, yeah. You just went right to the top of the screen, kept hitting it while it pushed you down. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll work on that. Uh, each one of the bosses is basically just kind of a rough draft at this point. And I'm going to go spend a whole nother week on each one of the dungeons and bosses and uh, that's a that's a week combined for the dungeon and the boss. So each one of the bosses is going to get a lot of loving attention, and uh, I will be making them all a lot better. But uh, thank you for saying that. I will. Um, I'm going to work on that. The plan for that boss was always to have the eyes do some kind of attack too. So there's basically he's he doesn't have his eyes attacking you yet, and his eyes will have like either laser beams or something. But that's a really great thought to make it so that maybe the la the eyes can kind of push you off a little bit. So you don't, you're not just like standing there the whole time fighting him. Oh, really? Uh oh. I know, Jonah, right? Yeah. There's got to be more than just spamming the sword button. It's, yeah, that boss is probably the one that's kind of the, the most easy to be spammed so far. So that I really do got to work on that boss. All right, Space One AMC, man. Okay, let's see if the timing's better now. Kind of hard to tell how this timing is working with this with both of these conflicting sounds here. So I'm just going to export this one alone. Man, I'm hungry. Is there like an echo? I 
Is it is there an echo built into this sound? Oh yeah. Oh, that's why. <laughs> All right. Let's see what it sounds like without uh with just this sound. And definitely less volume. What's this decibels coming up to? Negative 18. This needs to be like at least negative 12. Maybe less. Okay. It's kind of cool, actually. It's the timing, though. The timing is still kind of... Maybe if this note was shorter. <laughs> so let me copy this note, because I don't want to lose that. how long that was first. Let's deactivate this. What? Okay, so try a shorter note. You lose! Okay, good. We got about the right, maybe a little less actually. Yeah. Let's try that. And if that's, if that other one sounded a little better, I'll go back. Actually, it was kind of nice, but I think I like it about halfway. I think that was right there. So let's go about there. Try that again. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to play with the sound, the character of the sound, make it um, deeper, less, less robotic. I want to add a a, score, a sine wave. That's what's giving it that whoa, 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 this LFO here. This is the sign LFO. The restarts. So it's not synced. Oh, it's not synced. Let's 
Jonah, you're starting a job soon too? Oh yeah, that's right. I think you mentioned that. Yeah, freelance game programmer? Ah, that's so cool. Oops. I want like this all sound. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Sweet, man. Dude, oh, Jonah, that's so great. Yeah, you can do pretty much anything with Massive. It's pretty great. There's some other, there's some better synths out there uh, I've seen, but like, I already paid 250 bucks for this one, and I already know it pretty well, so I'm just kind of sticking with Massive. You got three oscillators and a noise generator here, and with just those four things, you can generate so much sound. Yeah, definitely a good start, man. Right out of your... Dude, that's so great. This is pretty good, this inharmonic. Let's try a few more though. The drive's kind of cool, too.
Okay, um, I liked, I really liked, Kangaroo was kind of neat. Um, but Woody, Woody was also kind of cool, but what was else was, oh, these electric ones. So hard, sort of choose. All right, whatever. I can't. I can't keep doing this. I'm lost. I'm lost in the sounds. We hear too many sounds. Your ears just get tired. All right, so I'll go back to Flenders. These are kind of a nice little additive bit. What if this had an LFO on it? Where is the thing which starts the re that's Oh, oscillator, I think. No. Ma Oh, here it is. Oscillator phases, restart via gate. Pretty much. Okay, let's see if that's even sounding right. Feeling right, I guess, with that, that higher harmonic. Well, if it is going to be in there, it definitely needs to be lower because that's that's that doesn't feel right. Alright, well, I, I've kind of burned my ears out here doing this today, so I gotta, I gotta take a break at this point, um, come back to this with the fresh, fresh ears, um, but this has been a very productive stream. Um, I got all the dialogue sounds for Rock, Vel, Brutus, and Zero, they all have their own individual dialogue sounds, and they all sound pretty good. I'm actually pretty, pretty excited about that. And now I just got to finish this rock face sound. You like it? That's cool. I think it could be a lot better though. I, I got something else in mind, something deeper, something that sounds more like monks chanting is what I was imagining. So um, yeah, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to stop streaming here. I'm going to get like a sandwich in my belly and stuff and then come back to it with fresh ears later tonight. And I'm sure something beautiful will happen here and be a nice sound effect. For whenever this guy Rockface is talking, so um, yeah, that's it for today's stream, and I really appreciate y'all. Appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, we'll catch you all next time. <clears throat> Have a good night, everybody. It was good seeing everybody today, seeing chatting with everybody and stuff. <laughs>